Hi, I'm Philip with Stellar Lens Productions, and today I'm going to be showing you just kind of a breakdown of the helicopter scene that I created using Element 3D and a lot of um, other elements in the background to kind of make it look like this cool little uh, short helicopter action scene. Um, to start, there are two uh, After Effects plugins I highly recommend you uh, get your hands on, and that's uh, Action Essentials 2 which is uh, available at videocopilot.net, created by Andrew Kramer. And the second is Optical Flares, same, videocopilot.net, also created by Andrew Kramer, both great plugins and uh, useful assets. Now to start, I'm just gonna kinda show you um, kind of a breakdown of this scene. I'm not gonna do a full tutorial going through explaining everything step by step because that would take a very long time and uh, I don't have that much patience again. But um, we're going to go ahead and look at this. Uh, um, we're going to play it through, and then I'm going to highlight some of the elements um, that we're seeing in here, and then I'm going to go back into the uh, comp where they're all put together and show you what's going on. So um, to start, if you haven't seen my tutorials on how to make these blades spin with the helicopter, um, and uh, basically how to uh, import this, into Element and texture it. I have two tutorials uh, on that and the link should be appearing at the bottom of the screen right now. If you just click on those, um, that'll help you do that. But as we move further on, um, we see in this video that some of the elements, we have our dust down here, we have the jets flying by, explosions, smoke, um, and a shadow. Let's see if we can go back here. Um, I actually have a little uh, shadow from the helicopter. I don't know if it's lit correctly with the angles, but, uh, you know, I try. Um, and uh, also what you're going to notice is back here is the jets are flying behind these towers in the background. And um, something that I'm noticing right now is that the layer I cut out is uh, on top of a lot of these layers because it's not lighting up the same way. Um, that was a little mistake there that I made. But um, let's go ahead and go into the comp and take a look at these uh, and break them down a bit. Um, so if we go into the pre-comp, uh, here's our scene. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shut off some of the um, color correction um, elements I put on this because they are going to uh, slow it down a little bit uh, for what we're wanting to do. So if we come up here to uh, our adjustment layer, I have uh, uh, this plugin and it's called Mojo. Uh, it's a nice little plugin to give it that extra cool lighting effect. But we're going to turn that off for now. Um, and we're going to start uh, by looking at some of these lights. If I shut off all these lights, you can see how they kind of play off the helicopter a little bit. Um, and I just put those in for extra effect. And um, when you put in lights, they're going to affect your 3D object. So let's grab one of them here. Um, I can take this light and move it around, and um, it affects the helicopter uh, differently depending on uh, where I position it and then how bright I put it. And these lights aren't very bright right now. I didn't really go into much um, detail with the lighting on this helicopter. Um, but we're going to go ahead and turn these off for now. And uh, so we see... We have our scene here with our helicopter flying across and the explosions in the background. Um, and as you can see, that mojo uh, really does a lot in itself to give it that cool uh, effect. So right now we're going to go ahead and shut off all of our fire and smoke effects. And by the way, all these fire effects, um, the black smoke that I have going on here, um, all these things are out of Action Essentials too. Um, this plugin comes with these great uh, stock uh, explosions and um, fire effects and things like that that we can put into the comp. And so um, we're going to start at the beginning here. We're going to turn off all of our fire effects. So we're just simply left with the helicopter and the jets flying by. So now um, our helicopter moves over, the jets fly by, and as you'll see, there's still something there. And this, what I did um, in the background of the uh, explosions, is I also added in uh, some optical flares. And uh, if you haven't used this plugin before, it's a very cool plugin um, that allows you to do some cool lighting effects on these uh, 
on these explosions is what I did. And I kind of just animated them on and then they kind of slowly faded out. And uh, if we look at that, um, you can go into the optical flares and uh, I just use one of the presets um, down here at the bottom, the vertical limit preset to get that uh, how I wanted it. And so I just kind of put that over the explosion, um, gave it a little extra flash um, and some uh, lens flare here as the uh, explosion went off. So we're going to go ahead and uh, shut off that layer too and break it down a little further. And uh, as you can see, it's a lot more basic. And we're going to take a look at this shadow right here. And what I did for the shadow is um, all I did was create a solid, make it 3D, and then just cut out a small portion of it. And uh, as you can see down here, I feathered out the mask, um, just masked a small area and feathered it out. And then I just simply um, tracked it along with the helicopter. As the helicopter moved, I just keyframed and just uh, kind of kept it under the helicopter as best as possible and then moved it, scaled it up a little here at the end as the helicopter fly, flew by. And it gave it that uh, nice little effect of having a shadow. So we're gonna go ahead and shut that off for now. And um, we are just going to keep looking at the helicopter here. And I think one of the hardest parts of making this tutorial was animating the movements of the helicopter. So if we come up to uh, where we have the helicopter um, on my element here, um, what I ended up doing is I got this uh, the jets flying by in the background from uh, the same website I got the helicopter and the textures applied them all in the same way added it in, and I added the helicopter to group number four. And then I replicated it twice and made it a, a point. And that basically allowed the jets to come out twice, as you can see back here. So if I click that back over to one, we just have one jet. So I made it two, put it on point, and then we have two jets. And then I just animated them flying by. I think I had them rotate a little bit over to the side as they did that, um, and that was about it. Turned on the motion blur, and uh, there they go. And so the jets were put on group four, and the components of the helicopter, I have the blades on two and three, and the body on group one. And so the way I animated the helicopter was by going into the world transform. And in here is where I did all of my rotation animations and all of my positioning animations. So starting here, I set my keyframes up on the positions and the rotations, moved them over, and as they moved, I was moving the, um, the tilt, the moving up and down of it, and, uh, and the roll of the helicopter as well, um, basically the X, Y, and Z positions of it. And um, it, it's a little tricky to get it to look um, like a helicopter is actually flying rather than rigid movements. So that's something you'll just have to play around with and uh, try to figure that out. Now, when you use the World Transform, it basically controls all of the groups. So what you're going to have to do is if you don't want it to control the jets as well, if you want them to stand alone, you need to come down to exclude groups. And here I have group four checked. So now when I do world transform, it only applies to these three uh, groups, the, the two propellers and the body. And then my jets, I would animate in their own group area. Um, and I animated them with the position here as they flew across. And so now um, let's take a look at the smoke layers. Uh, the smoke, or the dust layers rather, um, I have them all put in a, uh, in a pre-comp down here. Um, but basically, let's put um, let's put a solid in the background. Well, no, let's just turn this off. Basically, I have um, these various dust waves and things like that, uh, which were also from the uh, Action Essentials 2. And I just have them blowing and uh, moving with the helicopter. Um, and as it flies by in the end, this one kind of um, explodes out the bottom there, um, giving it a little bit more action. And um, I just did a simple track on the scene and then uh, uh, attached them to the tracking um, information to get them to move with the scene. And you can do that um, tracking the scene either with your um, built-in tracker or you can do it in Mocha, which uh, is now uh, conveniently placed in uh, the animation on After Effects. And so... Once, um, 
we'll take the dust elements out for a minute. And now we're basically really left with just the raw of the scene. And then down here you see this highlights, um, and that was highlighting when the explosions went off. And uh, those is basically, I just took the, uh, the background layer, duplicated it, and just cut out this bottom area, and then animated it with some curves um, to kind of get brighter as the explosions went off, and then dim back down a little bit. And then uh, as the last explosion went, it gets brighter again. And uh, that just gives a little effect that the light from these explosions is kind of lighting up this field. And um, that's how that worked. And the only other time um, I made a duplicate of this layer was to mask out the area right here. And uh, that mask uh, covers these jets so they can fly by in the background and um, not look like they're right in front of this, but rather going behind it. And um, so that is basically it with this scene. Once, I, once this was all done, I uh, made a um, pre-composition of this and um, put some simple, uh, um, let's take a look at the mask here. I just drew a simple mask to give it that uh, kind of that uh, 2.35 to 1 ratio look. Uh, that you would get out of a, a movie or uh, something like that. Um, I really like that. And then a la one last thing I did is I put some wiggle on the entire scene. So uh, to do that, um, I would just uh, click on this and hit, um, go to the effect, uh, generate a slider, or sorry, expression controls slider. And that way I can uh, alt click on the position and just type in wiggle and uh, whatever I had it at uh, four times per second um, will wiggle 40 pixels and uh, well I'm sorry four times per second we're gonna wiggle uh, pick whip this to the slider control because and then close off the brackets and um, that's going to now I already have the slider uh, animated up to where I want to have it at 11 right now and so um, then it's gonna move around based on that amount that you turn up the slider and that's about it really so all those elements kinda of went into creating this and um, the explosions the fire uh, they were all just placed in there and I think um, I did some with the dark smoke uh, to get it looking the way I wanted it um, I did some masking, uh, threw some things on the side here, um, and I actually um, just uh, did some of the um, opacities in them and then um, adding in all this fire um, in the backgrounds, kind of giving it that cool look um, after the explosions. And um, yeah, so it's just something you need to play around with. Um, I hope this uh, little breakdown of the scene was um, helpful to you, and if it wasn't, I'm sorry. I, but uh, uh, maybe it'll inspire you to go create something of your own. And uh, once again, I am Philip with Stellar Lens Productions. If you have any questions, comments, uh, tutorials you want made, uh, let me know. And uh, I'll do my best to uh, help you out.